Hello Lever Fanatics! This is going to be a slightly different video because I want to focus on something that lever machines don't do particularly well, but with a hack actually do okay. And that is changing temperature on the fly. Now, if you've used a uh, more advanced uh, electronically pump driven machine, maybe it had a PID or some other way to control the temperature of your boiler, you could set that temperature. Maybe you want 205 degrees normally, but Maybe you have a light coffee, a light roast that's delicate and it needs 195 degrees to really bring out the flavor. You could uh, set your temperature lower and that's called temperature surfing and it's a whole nother ball game. You can, you can take a bean and you can run through all the different possible temperatures from a high temperature to a medium to a low until you find exactly what works for that bean. Now that works really easily if you have a PID or some type of control module that can regulate the temperature in your boiler. For most lever machines, at least all lever machines that I know of, that's not possible. You have one boiler and you have a pressure stat which you can use to adjust the pressure, but it's not something that you adjust on the fly. In fact, on the Ponte Vecchio, you have to remove the cover and then you can take a screwdriver, adjust the pressure stat, and you can change how much pressure is in there. So right now I have my pressure set at 1.1 bar and I find for 99% of my coffee that's all I need. Uh, that works extremely well for light roasts, dark roasts, really heavy roasts uh, that I particularly enjoy, medium roasts as well. So I generally don't touch it. However, there sometimes are times when I wonder Maybe if I pull the shot at a slightly lower temperature, it might taste better. And so without having to take apart the machine, there is a way to pull a shot at a lower pressure without going through that trouble. And that involves really two things. One, turn off your machine. Now, these machines are incredibly stable in terms of temperature. So I just shut the machine off and you can see the needle um, slowly going down hardly uh, uh, hardly by a lot. But let's say I want to pull it at uh, 0.9 bars. So I've got, I don't actually have any coffee in here, but let's assume I have my coffee in here. Let's take it down. I release some steam to about there. Just over 0.9 bars. I now can pull my shot. You can typically do one shot, possibly two, uh, if you're quick, and you'll be able to taste your coffee at 0.9 bars. Now, if it turns out you really like that and you want that to be a permanent setting, then sure, take off the cover, adjust the, the pressure stat, and you will always have 0.9 bars. But this is a great way to just fiddle around, just um, temporarily, let's say, maybe I wanna try 0.8. Uh, you could try that and, and test it. As long as you have your machine turned off so it doesn't reheat, because these things do heat up very fast. If I had it on, it would go right back up to 1.1 in an instant. In fact, here, let me turn it on and show you. So the switch is on. So it, you can hear the boiler coming up and I'm already at one bar and then I'll go up to 1.1 and it'll shut itself off. So you can see the response time is very fast on this machine. But again, if I flick it off, it holds its temperature and I can adjust it. Let's see, take it down to maybe one bar. Uh, maybe uh, there. There's a reason they call this temperature surfing. And it'll hold at one bar. I can pull a couple of shots and um, see if I like it. So anyway, just want to do a quick video, show you uh, a way to, to hack this. This works for most lever machines. Uh, Ponte Vecchio is great because it has a huge boiler. So it can, uh, even with the power off, it can maintain a lot of pressure. You can still pull a bunch of shots and a uh, great way to experiment. So one more cool little trick that these amazing lever machines can do. As always, remember, the best espresso is the one you pull.